SmartPest works with QuickBooks through the use of a third-party plugin. And what this allows QuickBooks to do is to talk to the SmartPest inspections, payments, and customer files. When you first install SmartPest, you'll be given a demo code that will last for seven days. If you need an extension of that, please give us a call and we'd be glad to accommodate you. And that demo code will appear here. In this version, we already have it licensed. Um, we have the ability to uh, connect to an American version or Canadian or UK. The first thing you want to do is you want to select the, the location of your QuickBooks company file. And after you do that, you're going to be able to import all of your services, which we talked about earlier, using the uh, Import uh, Services from QuickBooks button right here. And you'll also be able to, in, to import your QuickBooks uh, customers, either through the plugin, uh, or you can use uh, a, the customer file in QuickBooks, which has the ability to export. You can bring them in that way. So if you're a QuickBooks Online customer, we also support that. So uh, there's a lot of ways to get your customers and existing QuickBooks data over, and we'll be glad to assist you in that. You'll notice that uh, you'll, you'll have to set the uh, taxable code, just set that to tax and non-taxable code to non. If you have any questions about that, our tech support department would be glad to uh, uh, help you with that. And you can also have a closing date to where you, you have a date that you say, okay, I don't want to import from any services prior to this date, and that will keep you from bringing, back, bringing over a lot of historical data you don't need to deal with. We also have an option here to auto-apply payments, and uh, our tech support department can help you with that. Um, you have the option of bringing in company names with last name first or first name last. It just depends on how you set your QuickBooks, cust uh, QuickBooks up originally. You'll want to check this box as when you are a QuickBooks user. And then we have some other instructions about how you, you do your one-time setup. You have an open link uh, option here. You, you can open QuickBooks from the, your company file from this button. And you note down here that we have Vista customers. Uh, you've got to have user access controls on in order to synchronize with QuickBooks. So that's pretty much it. Uh, once you have your company file link and everything set up, you'll see a button within SmartPest. And it's important to note that you have to mark your, uh, your invoices completed. And once you have marked it completed, you can click the Sync QuickBooks button and choose Automatic or Manual. And if you, get a, if you do not have the proper code in there, you'll notice that you'll get an error code message that comes up. So the, that means to make sure your service line items match that. So you'll enter the correct code in your QuickBooks item code and then sync QuickBooks. Again, you're presented with automatic or manual. I'm just going to choose the manual method here. And then you'll get a message that comes up and says synchronization completed successful. And the total number of orders. Uh, that were synced. You'll also be syncing payments if there were payments. So there you have it, uh, QuickBooks synchronization.